having met with many victims, survivors and families from the Troubles, I am struck time and time again of the horrors that so many people lived through in that time and the re-traumatisation that many have suffered from the repeated failures um, to deliver justice. And if I may, I'm, you know, I'd like to come back to discuss legacy more widely. But in this particular case of Pat Finucane, the Labour Party have long supported an, an inquiry into his murder and his family have been campaigning for decades now and have been given an unequivocal commitment by the government that this inquiry would take uh, would take place. And it was Judge Corey at Western Park back in 2001 that found that a public inquiry should take place alongside several other cases at the time, all of which have received a public inquiry, but which, of course, um, Pat Finucane's murder did not. And as you say, the Supreme Court found in February last year that there had never been a lawful investigation into his murder and that the shortcomings in previous investigations hampered, if not indeed prevented, the uncovering of the truth about his murder. And we in the Labour Party and I, as Shadow Secretary of State, are very clear that the only legal and moral way forward for this case is for a full independent public inquiry. And that's why we're putting pressure on the Secretary of State now, who said he will come back before the end of November. It's uh, quite clear that previous investigations, previous reviews, have not met the test of Article 2 in the European Convention of Human Rights. So we believe that the promise that was made by the last Labour government to uh, the Finucane family should now be fulfilled.